Hi everyone, so I am going back on the keto diet. In a moment, I'm gonna show you some of the things I stocked up on from Costco. I still have some more shopping to do at other stores. And these are the reasons that I like to go on the keto diet periodically. But the main reason I'm going on it right now is because post COVID, I've only gained, regained about 65% of my usual stamina. And my intuition is telling me to just do this and it will give me that little reset that I need. And these are the reasons that I'm not on the keto diet all the time. It's just a little bit difficult to maintain at this time of my life, but sometimes it's just necessary for me to go back on. Here are some things that I got from Costco today. I've never tried these before. I'm gonna give them a try. I don't tolerate dairy very, very well, so this will be a very once in a while type of thing. Uh, vitamin water, These. this is the zero sugar. My kids like vitamin water too, so I'm gonna see how we like these. Now, one thing I find when I'm doing the keto diet is that it is really great to have disposable items so that my, I don't have to wash dishes as often. So I have these. I also got some of these that I can, you know, cook in, bake in, whatever. Uh, chicken, chicken stock. So I love to make soups without potatoes and without rice when I'm keto. Avocado chunks for my smoothie. So the high fats or the high um, healthy fats are very important. This is for my son. Uh, I just got a bunch of veggies. So meats and veggies is the way to do the keto diet. Uh, blueberries and strawberries are legal, legal on the keto diet. We have some hamburgers. I have a chicken here. Um, I bought this. I'm not necessarily out and I use this all the time, not just when I'm keto. So I got a whole bunch of hummus. This is mostly for my son's um, lunch, but I will eat that too sometimes. Grass-fed butter. This is not keto, but I needed some toothpaste. I love to make chili. Beans are not necessarily keto legal, but I will have those sometimes. And then I have this sort of Southwest chicken salad type thing. Um, some grass-fed beef from local farms in Florida for the chili and other things. I have the bacon, and this is not my favorite bacon. I really love Applegate Farms, I think it's called. And then I have um, grass-fed, no, organic free-range eggs. I really love pastured eggs, but that's all they have. Now, Costco has a ton of other keto items. However, I'm allergic to nuts, and most of these items have almond flour in them or coconut. And I'm, I'm okay with coconut, but I'm not great. So there are a lot of items I cannot get, but if you ever try the keto diet or you're just going super low carb, I highly recommend Costco. Oh, honey, honey, you are my candy girl, and you got me wanting you. Honey, oh, sugar, sugar.
Happy Valentine's Day. I went to Sprouts. Let's check it out. Keep in mind I'm on the ketogenic diet, so a lot of these foods are based on that diet right now. So I first I got this uh, ham that I'm going to cube to put in my egg meat cups, which I'm going to be making in a couple days, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. Organic riced cauliflower, frozen, riced broccoli, frozen. These are great for stir fries or just making little sides that are easy. We have some pork rinds. Whoop, can I see? Evolution juices, I swear by these, they have really helped our immune systems around here. And I got a great deal on pasture-raised eggs, $5.99 for 18 eggs. Pasture-raised eggs, there is nothing like these. No other eggs compare as far as taste is concerned for me. Next, we have pitos. These kind of remind me of Takis, the things that the kids love to eat. They're kind of spicy, and they are high in protein. Pea protein, I it is. Um, some organic broccoli. Tiger nut flour, I use this to make my low carb bread. I also have that recipe in a recent TikTok. This is actually not made from a nut. Catalina Crunch, it's my go-to keto cereal when I'm on the run, don't have time to make breakfast. Protein enriched flax milk because I'm a little intolerant to dairy. Just some random spices. Um, that is it for my food. Now I got a few things for my kids for Valentine's Day. Um, Gummy worms that don't have any flavor, artificial ingredients, um, chocolate covered raisins, more chocolate covered raisins, and one of these little lollipops. So these are for my two boys and one of my boys' girlfriend. All right, happy about, oh, one other thing. Gluten-free crackers. My son has been looking for these. We have been looking for these for like three years. I couldn't find them on any of the shelves. I just saw them today. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm picking them up. That is it. Stay tuned for more recipes.